Hi guys, this is Peter from Stage Tracks and welcome to the first tutorial on how to use Stage Tracks. Today we will take a look at the basics of the app. So, if you fire up the app, you will see this empty screen. Um, basically, you have four tabs at the bottom. The History tab, where you will see all songs that you have played on an evening, your playlists, your song library, and settings. The first thing we want to do today is uh, to unlock the full version. The free version is limited in the number of songs you can import. You are limited uh, in regards of network connectivity, so you can't join any network sessions and um, you can also not restore any backups. Apart from that, the free version can do every, everything the full version can do. And if you want to unlock the full version, you go to the settings tab, scroll down until you see the in-app purchases item, select that, and then you can either buy the item by selecting it, or if you have bought it already on another device, you can restore this purchase. So I will tap on restore purchases and all is done. Everything is unlocked now. So first thing after that, we want to add some songs. How do we do that? Do that. Um, go to the songs tab and on the upper left corner, there is this plus button, which opens a small menu where you have four options. You can either add songs from your iTunes music library you can add uh, songs from local or cloud files. Cloud files means um, so any, any cloud um, hoster that is supported by iOS directly can be used to import files from. Um, then you can create lyrics only songs. These are basically just cheats or um, lyrics. So if you don't need uh, a playback, uh, you just use lyrics only songs and it will display your sheets. And then there is this fourth option to create multi-track songs. Multi-track songs um, can have up to six stereo tracks playing in parallel and um, they are um, separate from stereo songs. So what we would like to do is we first would like to import some songs from the iTunes Music Library. We check that. Now we need to grant access to the library. Okay. And now let's uh, go to albums, my playbacks, and let's import some playbacks. Uh, let's start with this one, this one, this, and maybe this. Um, songs are imported in the order you tap them. Press done and they are imported. Now you can see them here. Now let's um, take a look how it is done with uh, cloud files or local files. So again we tap plus, select from local or cloud files and now um, we go to browse, select your iCloud drive for example and I have a couple of demo songs in, uh, here ready. Let's get uh, select multiple songs. You need to choose select, then you can tap on multiple songs and we will import these three. Tap open to import them. Now that's it. The songs have been analyzed and imported. And if you want to play one, just select one and a small player will pop up on the bottom. Uh, it has basically a play button, the title of the current song, a uh, waveform view. You can swipe over the web for, uh, web waveform view to change the playback pointer or position. Um, and you have the time display. If you tap on it, you can switch between remaining and elapsed time. Um, now, playback is pretty straightforward. Press play or press stop. Uh, press stop. Um, what you also see here on the screen is uh, the blue bar behind the song that I selected which says play. This will always um, show you which song is currently loaded in the player. And then we have a next bar. Um, this is the song that will be played afterwards. Naturally this is the next in this list but 
you can choose during the playback when it is running um, if you want to skip a song, for example, or select a completely different song. So while playback is running and you tap on another song, only the next pointer will uh, be moved. So let's jump to the end of the song. And when we start playing and the current song stops, it will automatically load the, the one selected with next and uh, wait for another press on play. Now, another important part is, uh, if you want to show or view lyrics, you need to open the big player view. And this is done by tapping anywhere on the title um, in the mini player. This will pop up with, with a larger view where you have on the right hand side a, a big lyrics area. It will display lyrics uh, that are contained in the files in the lyrics tag or there is an integrated lyrics editor that I will show in another episode. Um, here the, you have a couple of more options. Of course there is this song list on the left hand side. You can hide the song list or you can show it again or if you keep the button pressed you can um, decide for another with of, of this list. Um, you have, besides the play button, there are two multifunctional buttons. You can assign different functions uh, in the settings to these buttons or you can hide them completely if you don't need it. Then you can change the text size. You can also do it with a swipe, uh, with a, um, um, a pinch gesture in the lyrics or just tap on these buttons. The text size will be stored for each song separately and you can adjust the scroll speed. The scroll speed is for automatic scrolling. Um, it is, uh, if, if you want faster scrolling, you press plus. If you want slower scrolling, you press minus. And then in the middle here you have the song volume. Um, this song volume uh, is also stored for each song or if you tap on the um, label it will switch to queue or playlist volume. So um, Stage Tracks has multiple volume settings. There's first the song volume, um, then afterwards the playlist volume. This is very useful if you have, for example, a dinner playlist where you want to play your songs uh, a little bit uh, lower volume uh, than a party playlist, for example. Um, and then you have the hardware volume of your iPad that you can also change. Um, okay, what do we have else? Um, you know this already. This is uh, the waveform view where you can change the playback position. Um, here you can change song properties. You can um, adjust, for example, uh, the left and right uh, pen position, the song pitch, the speed of the song. You can transpose chords if you have them um, directly in the uh, lyrics section. Um, you can assign keywords and colors. In this button, there is the four band equalizer. Um, this is also stored for each song separately, so you can adjust the songs to sound the best. And then this button here um, is the so called autoplay button. Usually, or in deep, by default, stage tracks will stop after each song. If you don't want that, if you want to directly continue playing with the next song, just enable this button and um, it will play automatically um, the next song when the current song ends. Now, how do you exit this, uh, this view? You tap anywhere in the title area and you are back to this view. The last thing I want to show you today is how to adjust song properties here in the song list. Um, you see uh, there is a blue eye button at the right hand side of each song and when you press that you basically uh, see um, all song specific settings that Stage Tracks has. Uh, you can change the title, you can change the artist, um, you can reset the play count, you can add this song to different playlists. You can edit lyrics here in the lyrics editor. 
Um, you can attach a PDF document. If you don't want to use text-based lyrics, you can attach uh, PDF files that will be displayed. Add keywords, add colors, set start and stop positions, a fade in, fade out. Um, again, the same um, playback specific settings like volume, pitch, speed um, that are possible in the big player view. Um, edit the equalizer and also assign MIDI commands. Um, these are all um, items I will explain in later episodes of these tutorials. But for now, that's it. I hope this will ease um, your uh, introduction period into the app. It will help you a bit getting familiar with it. Um, if you like it or don't like it, please leave me a feedback in the comments of this video or on the support forum. And hope to see you next time. Bye.